We've all had a hard time during the pandemic. This is Min Chan Kim, and he might be the fastest drone racer in the world. The reason I say might be is that due to the pandemic, he hasn't been able to travel to some of the world's biggest races the last two years. What would you do if you were the best in the world at something, but couldn't show it? He watched from his home in Korea as the last two hobby championships went on without him as other people from all over the world came to Florida to compete for the title of fastest man. He watched as the Drone Racing League television show grew and invited the top hobbyists in the world to compete and become professional drone racers. Meanwhile, his legend grew from the videos he posted online of his training, many believing and proclaiming he is the best in the world. Even if you think it might be true, how can you know for sure? He watched as the Drone Racing League TV show increased in popularity and competition as Evan Turner became the undisputed champion of the world, gaining championship titles over both major leagues twice in a row. This year, a true international tournament was held in Costa Rica, and Evan did everything he could to make sure Min Chan was a part of it. Evan and his family hosted Min Chan at his home in Tennessee for two weeks prior to the competition and helped him train. Now, how do you hold an international drone race? First, you need boots on the ground with a beautiful place with a strong racing presence. Florida comes to mind, but nearly all the major races are held there. Maybe along the same lines, but something a bit more exotic. Freedom Spec has been sweeping the world lately. It's the same components, but slower batteries, way easier to see and less damage. That way, traveling pilots can get away with as little as three drones instead of 10 or 20. Robert is the head of the Costa Rica drone racing chapter, a large group in their own right. He's on board scouting locations. James is the godfather of Freedom Spec. He's the one that thought it up, a fast racer and an expert race director. If you're doing Freedom Spec, you need Evan Turner. He's the owner of 533 and back-to-back -back champion of both MultiGP and the Drone Racing League TV show. You're gonna need a track. The best designer in the world is in Houston, NM Grower. If he's in, you probably also get Betaflight developer and ninth ranked racer in the world, the Russian that also resides there, Lamone. They're kind of a package deal. If Heads Up is in, you can count on more of the Drone Racing League pilots. Vanover, Alex FPV, Soren, and Amari. A huge snowstorm hits the northern US days before the race. Soren's flight gets canceled last minute. He spends hours on the phone trying to get another one. He's out. Vanover's out. Amari makes it to Costa Rica, but his luggage doesn't. Luckily, it was only clothes and stuff. He carried his drone on. Bonus. Remember that Costa Rica chapter I mentioned earlier? They reach out all across Central and South America. Rooney from Guatemala. Tomate from Chile. Siba and Aldi from the Dominican Republic joined the group of Costa Rican racers to crown the fastest racer in Latin America. Propsicle misses multiple flights, spends 32 hours getting to Costa Rica only to arrive an hour before qualifying is over. He gets two batteries and manages to qualify fifth going into brackets. We end up with a total of 32 pilots, the perfect number for two full brackets of racing. Unknown before the day of the race was that the volcanic sands of Costa Rica contain a black metallic property that sticks to the magnets in drone motors, seizing them up, keeping them unable to spin. In other words, the ground is literally lava. Can't believe or at an event in Costa Rica flying freedom school. It's kind of wild. Alex FPV has been one of the top drone racers in the world for several years. He even has motors and drone frames with his name on them. He also happens to live up the road from the undisputed champion heads up Evan Turner. Chief is always towards the top but hasn't secured a top three podium finish on a world stage. This year, his first on the Drone Racing League TV show, Alex has proved to be one of the most popular personalities on the show and has taken many big finishes. 
A lot is on the line as Alex intends to prove he isn't just among the top pilots, but that he could be the best in the world. Pretty crazy out there, oh, pretty man. crazy, but I like it. Several of the top contenders in the world were knocked out during the brackets. Propsicle, Jake Hammer, Noikel, and the Milkman. Lamone ends up getting knocked out fifth in the semifinals, leaving a final four of Min Chan Kim, Alex FPV, Chief, Siba, and Fitty Cow. It's my you last came? race. I gave everything I had, but it wasn't enough. Uh, it wasn't enough. Really I was close. I was that close to get into finals, but and honestly, like I don't deserve being in the finals. I feel like not yet, but one day we'll that be was there. Yeah. You can get your confidence in the morning, but once you come to brackets, it's uh, one pack can really either make or break you as far as your confidence goes, and that's that's big. So the weather's nice; it's a little bit hotter than I'm used to, even though I live in LA. So excited to see like racing with Minchain, racing with Evan, racing with all the best pilots in the world. This is going to be a total fun, especially in Costa Rica, where a race venue that we've never seen before, flying around obstacles that we've never that I've never seen before. At the end of qualifying, Minchan had three laps in 98 seconds and Evan 99 seconds, only 0.3 seconds per lap separating them closer than anyone could have imagined. Evan goes down during the elimination brackets. Normally in finals, you have to win twice in a format called Chase the Ace. However, today Minchan has won every single bracket of this double elimination tournament. If he wins, he'll be crowned champion due to the Iron Man rule. This is a rarity, kind of like a no hitter in baseball. Min Chan Kim has Iron Man engaged. If he wins this first round of finals, he'll be the first international freedom spec drone racing champion. Round of Chase the Ace, Min Chan Kim is the Iron Man. Will he stay pristine or will we see a failure from the Korean robot pilots arm your quads. All righty, off like a rocket. Quad vision here. Wow. Min, Fitty Cow takes the whole shot, but that's all he takes as he is down and out. Yep. Uh, managed to beat Min Chan to the gate. Every pilot in this heat with a whole shot under six seconds. But now we're watching to see if we can get a feel for what the running order is in this heat. So uh, let's see here. Into the tree section. All the pilots. Yeah. Siba? No, it looks like MCK is out in front. No surprise, but not by much. Alex and Siba are both right behind him. Alex and Siba are a little bit locked up right now. Absolutely. Alex proven, oh man, Siba with one of the sauciest little tree turns there I've ever seen. Radio Master wanted to show up in that when Siba stalled out a little bit there, but these guys are pushing harder than they ever have. I think Alex might be pulling on Siba just a bit here. They're into the tree section. Uh, Minchin now into the 533 switchback and across onto his third lap. Wow. MCK with the 3216-3295 for MCK. So Alex had a faster lap than Siba there, so he is continuing to pull on him. Uh, Alex with a 33-2 and a 33-4. Siba with a 32-8 and a 33-6. You can see him. Oh, and like that, Siba is down. Right now, it's only Min Chan and Alex in this race, Alex has nothing to lose. Min Chan cannot crash, crash or we are doing this again. Let's see what happens here. And it's just like a second or less between the two pilots. Oh man, so Min Chan has to push here to keep Alex off of his back. Alex has put tons of math and science into the building of the squad. Wow, that split us was absolutely gnarly. Up into the high section here, the tree slalom coming around, the Redex Air tree trunks. Will Min Chan keep it clean or will he make a mistake? We're about to find out. Oh wow, just they are both into the tree section. I just saw Min Chan's quad in Alex's feet, into the switchback, 533 switchback, and across. Min Chan takes the win. Alex FPV just 1.13 seconds behind. Just glad I finally did good in one of these races. It's been a long time coming, and it's not like uh, this. This has to be one of the hardest lineups we faced. 
in the past few years. Right, give it up right now for us. <laughs> the fastest pilot in Latin America. We knew it to be true. We thought it might be true. We always wanted to see what he could do. Top qualifier. Iron Man all the way through the bracket. Where is my buddy Min Chan Kim? I learned after the event that in Korea he's so dominant that at major events people are tired of him winning every single event. People cheer when third place is announced. They go crazy when second place is announced. And when Min Chin is announced first, crickets. The crowd silently gets up, turns around, and walks away. It's a little wild, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what does it feel like to be the best pilot in the world, undisputed? I mean, I'm just trying to be always trying my best. I was always wanting to go come like other country and enjoy the race yeah. with lots of pilots. And then I was waiting, waiting for like two years because of COVID issues. Mm -hmm. And then was have like some bad time in the Korea. And it was really hard time for me. Always, my first goal is like enjoying the race. Yeah. And I really, I really want to thanks to you guys. I really enjoy the race, and then I wish I can enjoy the race like this more in the future. Thank yeah. you so much. You're the best in the world, son. Something that what I know to be true right now is that Undisputed, you are the best Freedom Spec pilot in the world. I can't wait to see what you do on other specs on Open Class. Um, it, it's been an honor to have you here at this yeah, race. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait to see you see at future way. races and uh, and all that. Is there anyone you want to give a shout out to? You? Oh, especially to sponsors and Evan Five Three Three, yeah. always supporting yeah. me while I was in his house. And then my parents in Korea, and they're just always supporting me. I really want to thanks to them. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Is this the farthest you've traveled for a drone race? Yeah. yeah. It took like 20 hours okay. to, from Korea to USA. And you stayed with yeah. Evan for a couple Evan, weeks yeah. training? Yeah. We flew every day. At the morning till like 6 p.m. Yep. And they ate dinner, fixing lawns, and charging batteries, and they go to the flight at 1 a.m. till like 3 a.m. every day. My biggest goal is definitely be on Jar. Okay. For sure. But. No, I cannot because final year of the school this year. I definitely will try next year. It's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be really hard. Whoa, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> So Mucho respect from America.